Living a five-star lifestyle might be nice for the directors of this company, but its customers are fuming after being left in a financial black hole. They paid thousands for the shed of their dreams, and they're still waiting. One of the former directors, meanwhile, says it's just a bit of bad luck. Oh, I was devastated. Who's ripped off these customers for their sheds? This is absolutely a bit of bad luck, yeah. Jake Loopy knows a bit about bad luck after paying $39,000 for the shed of his dreams and receiving nothing. You know, put everything we had into this house, into the into this shed. It's our dream house, our dream shed. So, yeah, we're devastated. It's horrible. Kai and Connie Rollison know the feeling. They paid $49,000 for their shed, but when it arrived, there was a serious problem. So I um, put a few measurements over with the tape measure and sure enough it wasn't what we ordered. It was going to knock a good over a foot off our ceiling height, so we needed to get it rectified. They claim the roof sheets are too short, the brackets incorrect and the pitch too shallow to support a hefty off-grid solar energy system. They need that in place first to get electricity before building a new home on this rural block west of Newcastle. So no one will touch it. So we've basically got to buy a new shed. Yeah, and being $49,000 in the hole already, that's a really tough pill to swallow for sure. Jake Loopy is in a similar financial black hole with a bank loan taken out to build his new home and shed near Cairns. Oh, look, it affects everything. It affects the mortgage as well. It affects the valuation of the mortgage. Like, we took out a loan for this money. It's going to take me a very long time to recover from this now. I've been saving for it for, you know, four or five years, so... They all had the misfortune of buying from Southern Cross Garages at Nowra, New South Wales, a business that is now in liquidation and its former directors ducking for cover. Hi, Josh. Dan Nolan from Current Affair. How are you going? Joshua Pertel joined the business in April as a director alongside Paul Naylor who started the company nine years ago. People are unhappy with you, they're unhappy with this business, they're saying that you know. What business is that? They're unhappy. Well they're unhappy with Southern Cross Garages. Yeah which is not my business. But you are a director of the company. Correct yes. Josh Pertel says he left the business in September and was owed money himself. But as angry customers started digging further into the director's background, they found Josh Pertel's Facebook page filled with pictures of a five-star lifestyle, fancy cars, flash hotels and business class flights. Just makes it sick, really. It's, it's a very different lifestyle to what his, his customers would lead. He's living the high life while we're left you know, with a 40k bill that I have to try and pay back to my bank now and I don't even have a shed, so... They also discovered this wasn't the first shed company collapse involving Josh Pertel. Eleven years ago, the Queensland Office of Fair Trading took action against Joshua Pertel when he was director of the shed warehouse on the Gold Coast. It found he had taken payments for 43 sheds he couldn't deliver he was required to personally pay $174,000 back in compensation. The problem that customers have got is that you've got a history of this happening From to customers ago. Yep. before. Yep. What, what happened there? $175,000 you were ordered to pay back Correct, on that yeah. occasion. Did yep. you pay that all back? Uh, no, no. Pay any so, of it back? Yes. It's unclear how much was ever paid back, with records showing Joshua Pertel filed for bankruptcy a year before the court proceedings wrapped up. He blames a former business partner for that collapse. It was ordered to repay $175,000. There were a lot of people who were stunned that was also by that business. Ago. Yeah, that was also 12 years ago. Correct. And now here we are 12 years later and there seems to be a lot of customers involved in, uh, from yeah, this company involved with, yeah. who have also been stung and they're wondering what's going on. In this latest Shed show, these customers needed answers from either Josh Pertel or Paul Naylor, pictured together here during happier times. Just not taking responsibility and not, not offering any solution for us. Our shed is still on the ground. Customers say it was extremely difficult to get answers from the company once problems started to emerge. When they did get hold of people, the blame game began. So I've only had one phone call with Josh. Um, and he basically shifted all the blame to Paul. Connie Rollison says Paul Naylor had a different story. Then he told us the opposite story, that Josh was the one that had done the dirty on him um, and that he 
had been left to deal with a massive mess. Josh Pertell claims that Paul Naylor is most definitely to blame. He declined to respond to that allegation, saying by text message... No comment. Directorship has ceased. Please contact the liquidators. So why does this keep happening to you, though? Why do you have it's this... It's happened once before. Well, it's happened twice now. That's... Well, it's, but this isn't my fault. And the, the art last not, time... The last one wasn't your fault, either. No, you're it wasn't. Me. That's right. You're just an unlucky businessman, are you? No, I get involved with the wrong people, trying to help out. It is unlucky. They say lightning can't strike twice, but um, I'm here to say it can, and it has. Queensland's Office of Fair Trading says it's assisting three customers, while the New South Wales branch provided no information on any possible investigation. So hopefully then they can go through the books and find out that we had nothing at all to do with it other than being in the wrong place for the last 12 months. Just a bit of bad luck. Right, this is absolutely a bit of bad luck, yeah. Uh, absolutely disgraceful. I just can't believe someone like that can do it to people and get away with it. And he's still living this beautiful lifestyle. Josh Pertell is now operating a new business called Platinum Sheds in Vincentia on the picturesque Jarvis Bay near Nowra. He claims to be now trying to rectify some of the missing sheds, not as a legal requirement, but simply out of his own goodwill. Out of the customers that have been stung, Metro Australia and myself uh, delivering up to 20, 21 of them. So there's, um, they'll all get delivered before the 12th of December. I just want my money back um, so I can try and rebuild and start again. Both those affected customers say they have still not been contacted by Josh Pertell about any solution. Metrol Australia declined to comment.